brave friends. On the south side of the globe, in the kingdom of eternal winter, on one of the gigantic icebergs of Antarctica, there was a colony of penguins. And a small but friendly penguin family lived in this big colony. Mother Penguin, Father Penguin, and Little Penguin Lo. Little Lo was born just a few months ago, so he was very curious and wanted to learn everything about the world. Father Penguin taught his son how to skillfully swim underwater and catch fish, and how to move freely on slippery ice and identify dangerous predators. Mother Penguin told her son about the surrounding world, and together they watched the northern lights Little Lo learned how to navigate by the stars and strengthen the family nest with pebbles he found. Together, Mother and Father Penguin prepared their son for the most demanding test in his life, the ascent of a very high ice mountain. When you are six months old, you will have to climb the ice mountain on your own, slide down the slope on your tummy, and dive into the ocean. And then, in the ocean, you will need to catch a fish and bring it to your nest. That's what I did. And that's what your grandfather did, said Father Penguin to his son. Lo was very worried about this test, but every day he watched with admiration how the next brave penguin slid down the slope faster than the wind, dived into the cold water, and soon came ashore with a fish in its beak. And Lo could not help but notice that nearby, every day, another little penguin sat watching quietly. So Lo met the penguin from the neighboring family. His name was Po. One day, we will have to do it too, said Poe. But I don't know if I can, answered Lo. Days turned into nights. The little penguins did not notice how quickly they grew and got stronger. Their footprints on the sparkling white snow grew larger and deeper and their feathers became stronger. Now even the impudent seagulls did not dare to pester Lo and Poe. Lo, it's your time, his father said one day, and they set off together towards the mountain. Hundreds of other penguins gathered around the mountain, they flapped their wings and called out loudly. Poe was already standing on the slope, waiting for his friend Lo. Apparently, today, Poe was the first to take this test. You know, Lo, I'm really scared, Poe whispered softly. Poe? I don't think you're more scared than me, replied Lo, his beak trembling with fear. The next moment, Poe took a deep breath and began to climb up the slope. 
and he did it well. Poe deftly jumped onto the first stone, then onto another one. Lo was very worried about his friend. He covered his eyes with his wings and quietly repeated, "You can do it. You'll be fine." But suddenly the crowd of penguins was quiet. Lo slowly opened his eyes and saw his friend Poe hanging on one of the stones, desperately holding on to the very edge with his beak. Everyone froze and was silent. At that moment, something happened to Lo. There was no more room for fear in his heart. Lo only thought of one thing: he immediately needed to help his friend. So he rushed to help. He quickly reached his friend and dragged him onto the rock. "Are you okay?" asked Lo. "I think so." Replied Poe, "I was terrified. Let's go down." Lo looked at the leader of the colony, then at his parents, and all the penguins gathered around. You know, it's now or never," objected Lo. Let's go to the top of the mountain together. It'll be easier that way because we can help each other any time. So the penguins continued on their way. Soon the friends reached the top of the mountain and saw with surprise the boundless ocean beyond. They only had to go down the icy slope, dive into the water, and pull their catch to shore. Are you ready? Asked Lo. Yes, I'm ready. Answered Poe confidently. The friends lay on their tummies and rushed down the slope faster than the wind. They glided so fast that even a seagull could not keep up with them. Poe was holding tight to his friend's wing, and Lo realized he was not afraid of anything anymore. Soon they plunged into the water, and each pulled a large fish out to shore. There. Proud parents and happy inhabitants of the colony were already waiting for them. Thank you, Lo, for saving me. Any friend would have done the same," replied Lo. "And thank you too, Poe, for making me forget fear." Time passed. Lo and Poe eventually started their own families, but they never stopped being friends and helping each other. And one fine day, like their parents, they each led their children to a high mountain, towards their most important test. The end.